Yo. What is good in the hood? It's it's the boy imp. So, um, I mean, I, I I'm gonna be honest. I couldn't play Brawlhalla for a while. Tagging to emails, getting jobs, uh, getting some things situated before my before I actually have to get college started and such related. And I mean, yeah, I mean, finally, I can I can unwind by playing some Brawlhalla. And what better way to start than to just use the use the kindergarten Kaya comp? I think that sounds fitting, surely. So the point here is to at least get top 100 by the time we by the time we end this recording. If we do it too early, then of course I'll just play some more matches. Oh, this guy. Dude, Lin Fei um, has a lot of potential. I feel like like her on hit is so crazy just because she gets to Three, two, she just gets to one, throw out so many oh. things like so many hitboxes. Like she's really good at that. Like that's her whole niche. It's like it's like the same as Koji but like modernized. So we're on a really healthy start right now. First game on, not bad. Sorry if I sorry if I stop talking, but like sometimes if you hit too many things, then you need to like start paying attention. Just because you want to hit some more. If that makes sense. The whole point of spear and bow is to just be perfect weapons, except for the one disadvantage where not only are the hitboxes slightly small if you miss, you're kind of doomed. Like the punish is guaranteed. Not you're doomed. It's like it's like the same thing as heavy weapons, except heavy weapons just have more damage, and their hitboxes are a little bit more niche, except for maybe axe. I don't know. Not just burn. He goes away, we just go for side sick. Especially since we conditioned him for the delight earlier. We just land with Nair. I can go in for a 3 star. It doesn't sound like a bad idea. right there but yeah nah Linfei has a really good time covering yourself I think a lot of the problem with the Linfei players in general is that they they understand that that's like why it's a, it's a slight issue because and they'll just keep throwing everything out and they're not really all that smart about it that's that would be the only issue it's just that there's like no development for the character because people kind of assume there's like a there's like a way that people have um, there, there's just, people just think that there's a better way to play the character in general. While I was trying to figure out what to say, I lost my stock. Cool. The wake up, uh, definitely not recommended, but I mean, I got it anyways, so that's fine. Dude, Zul. Oh my god, another sleeper. This guy just has a sleeper comp, I'm not gonna lie. Cannon has a lot of potential, just in general. Guitars are still good. I just wonder. I just wonder, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I wonder what's gonna happen with NA because we, we've we had, we've actually had genuine issues with EU and SA. Like, their work ethic is just higher for some reason. Like, okay, SA has this knack of like being so much more uh, grindy if that makes sense actually they're not grindy at all but like they they're just really good at practicing like the entire region is just completely made up of like a full rank to do every single day oh, I, I'm kind of falling behind here and like nothing
wanted to go for this thing. This runs didn't go for anything there. See if we can get some juggles in. Bone tag should be pretty uh, sustainable. Damn it. I messed that up too. Okay, let's pay, let's pay attention. Cheese that out. Normally we don't get opportunities like those, so we just take advantage. I think I'll I think I won't be playing spirit to this. The thing is, to me, stats, the impact of them is definitely a lot more exaggerated for than people say. I think dex matters, especially on my weapons, where you can actually have so many combos if you had dex, but it's still manageable, you know what I'm saying? Uh, low speed is also still manageable, especially with the new dash, to where the only real advantage would be air drift when you're recovering. But a lot of low speed legends have so many good like properties. Like to make up for their low strength, they they usually have very meaty six, and they're all very high damage. They're all very practical. They're all just really good in general. Now the only problem is recovering. Though that would be the only issue. Low defense characters pour out way more damage than they take. I think I'm gonna have to pay attention. <sighs> Keeping Katars away while unconcentrated sounds impossible to me. Like I always have to pay attention against Katars. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you don't get that out of a out of a different like out of a different dex. Those interactions are so like obnoxious. Like once you realize Linfei has more to throw out than any other legend in the game right now, it's very obnoxious. Like it's a lot to deal with. In tournament, it's very jarring too. I just kind of had to run down because the game plan against. A lot of the phases happen to be the same. Nobody seems to really develop it. I just realized this guy is like the the gui drip. Got a 
jump dodge. He was playing forward the dodge right there. It's, it's pretty scary with bow. Or kind of, I mean. I don't let it affect me anyways. I just managed to only care about it because it's like so common, I feel like. Consistency is bad. Spear feels mo a little bit more interactive now because I feel like I've done everything I wanted to on, on bow. Like I've I've developed the blue chart like, far enough, so I just need to develop the other one. I almost jumped. I'm not gonna lie, I almost jumped. Bro, we are on a roll. Kindergarten Kaya Drift doesn't fail. Actually, not much for that. Probably should have read the wake up and just jumped instead of going for another attack. Actually, I just gotta read wake ups with an army. I don't know how to do with that. Oh god, I missed. Yeah, they actually nerfed both there. They wanted to... They kept the active frames low. Which puts Bo in a still comfortable position. The point is, like... Okay. We can finally just put more skill on the weapon. By making it so that when you catch a dodge, it's definitely a lot harder to pull off. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, I feel like Bow to me is the only top weapon that a lot of players seriously insinuate not playing. Like to me, bro, I, it feels like there's just like one or two Kaya's for every region, for every region, but there's really not enough because I, I don't. Okay, I, I don't even know why. It's just like if there is a top Kaya, it's mostly just in twos, and then in ones, it's different. There's really not that much. And if there is, it's just like one for every region. Which is interesting. Oh, we got experience so, so early in the morning too. I'm surprised. Uh, does he not have school? I'll ask him after. Three, two, one, brawl. The Mordex matchup. He's on Fender Mordex. Interesting. I didn't mean dodge there. Yeah, I think it's time to just pay attention right now because I need and I don't need the practice. Or okay, yes, I need the practice. Just in, just so in case I come back, I don't fall off. <laughs> Versus Scythe is something I'm pretty comfortable in. Spear versus Gauntlet should be free, but it doesn't feel that way against experience for some reason.
okay? They're already mad at the sick, like, I can feel it. <laughs> Wow, I... If I lose because of that, I'm gonna... Oof. Or if I lose from not closing in that interaction, I'm gonna be extremely mad. Dude, escaping the grip of that weapon is so such a chore. It is it is actually a chore, bro. I can't tell you how many times like that situation has replayed over and over again to where the point is to get away from from the other player as much as possible while also staying stacked. This guy just <laughs> he's on Mordex Gear 3. <laughs> That was good, actually. I was anticipating the recovery, but I didn't think... I didn't think the ceiling was that low. Or I didn't think I was that below the ceiling. Oopsies. I actually do have to pay a lot of attention. I keep missing. I keep misdirecting a lot of my attacks right now. I think it's like a confidence thing though, because I'm playing like I'm fighting against like God himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the amount of times I have to fend this guy off is really hard. Like, it's just something to pay attention to. Yeah. Did he jump in? If he did, then that's a problem. I wonder if I can bring this back. Yeah. 
Ornix is so bad. The idea that people still play him is kind of... Uh, I don't know, like, not a day in my life have I considered Mordex a top character. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. That's a lie. Like, in 2018, he's he was just really good, right? Like, top one or whatever. But nowadays, he's just whatever to me. And even now, he still is. I think his weapon comp is the only thing that's saving him right now. Three, two, one, brawl! I gotta pay attention. If I can extend this, surely we'll live. I have to move around because he's moving around a lot too. So station control doesn't really matter in this case. And what does matter more would be who gets the damage? That was good. Man, I keep I keep misdirecting a lot of my hits. I didn't mean to go for that. Either. That was such a bad idea. Just because Mordex has the ability to, he will, if that makes sense. I haven't used Sir Dila in a really long time. So thankfully that got me the job. <sighs> got a small workout going in, I'm not gonna lie. I think the worst part about losing is just like once you lose, your brain immediately like it immediately gives you excuses, just things to play off of. So you can just talk about Oh, this one excuse like you your brain just does it automatically and I'm not and I'm not really in line with what it's doing right now so I need to focus and I and for some reason the more you lose the more the more attention you pay to your surroundings I think that's the hardest part about it
that's the first of it. I don't know. I don't know why I was just narrowing things down to like one or two options, and I would just throw out like seriously, just not that many moves. I kind of felt the potential cheese. Yeah, Lucy would have lived there. <laughs> oh, I keep trying to weapon throw. Dog, I did not just entertain that. I pressed so many buttons and none of them registered because I keep misdirecting everything. My fault though. I'm not gonna hit anybody. I don't know why I went for that. Ugh, it holds center. This this guy's moving around so much. Oh, that was so bad. That was terrible. At least on my end. Okay. Peacefully, let's try to bring this back. Yeah, let's try to, you know. That was horrific on my end. I don't even know why I burnt that dodge. I jumped in and I went to the to the edge of the stage as if that was gonna save me. The flow chart is still mostly active when you're still on the stage. So if I went off, that whole issue would have been resolved. But instead of but instead of the smart thing to do, I just you know I just didn't do that. Okay, cool. We fight the mirage now. Now every punish should be high damage, but. For defense Three, and recovering two, the stage should one, be a lot harder for this guy. So let's just consider the do's and don'ts. Every time I fight against Mirage at this point, I expect a side sig on Spear of some kind or a DC on Spear or on side of some kind. Ooh.
Water breaks are actually pretty important. I took one, I had to take one after recording just because like, I want to have like quality out there and I don't want to like feel like dehydrated or anything. Crazy. Anytime I've ever debated about Scythe with anybody, I just consider it a decent weapon where nothing really needs to be changed. Personally, anyways. But a according to experience, he seriously just finds it as like a as like this top one weapon that is like unmatchable. Like nobody, nothing can top it except Aya. That's what he said, anyways. It's like okay. Actually, scratch that. Like, he said that it's a really, really good weapon. Like, at least top three. Just because of Nair and Dare and just, like, the ability to control so much offstage. Which, I guess, is a good point. Jesus Christ, I keep frame dropping. It's a good point, but it's not... I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, I'm not paying attention anymore. Oh my god, I could have lost that. Player two wins. I could have lost that bad too. Oh my god. Alright, so the recorder keeps acting up, so I think I'm just gonna end the video here. We ended on nine wins. Uh, we only went up by a few ranked spots, but it was because we were fighting a, a Valhalla the whole time. Or the top five player the whole time, so I don't know, I don't really mind it. Peace out.